the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Is that what a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestone. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Mm -hmm. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him bend. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer, or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be. Seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will. Huh? Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. Probably rats into everything.
Yes, of course. Get caught in the lockdown last night. Six. What was that? Back to the beginning. Probably. 
It was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. Damn it. But why Corvo? The one man fear. Someone help me out! those fools in Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hiram, or the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but... I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. 
Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack in this guy. Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. I expect I want to congratulate you. Take down the Lord Attention. Regent and all, all his key allies. Living on the you north know. Side of the river. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, and step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later.
You're lucky I keep you on. It is every lucky. citizen's duty this place to would fall apart in ten minutes without me. And actions. The state is that depends so? On you. In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went to the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spreads fast. I know the golden cat. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend to servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that way.
still went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. Ah, the Royal Protector. Just... Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You might have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent.